So we're almost done with the experiment. The pig should become super strong, which will help us in agriculture. Are you ready for this great event? There's only one thing left to do. Yay, I'm ready. I've checked all the instruments. Everything's normal. We can start the mutation process. Mr. Gambles, start the transformation machine. Yeah, roger that. It's on. Oh, great. It's working. It's about to perform a miracle. Oh, no! Something's gone wrong. The pig has become an evil mutant. What did we do wrong? Save yourselves, co-workers. She's not thrilled with what we've done to her. She wants to kill us all. Oh my god, what have we done? Don't kill me, I had nothing to do with this. Good morning, guys. What a nice day it is today. I'm gonna go wake up Mikey. We need to eat breakfast and decide what we're gonna do today. Oh, I love days like this. Mikey, good morning. Rise and shine. The sun is up and the birds are singing. Good morning. I'm so excited to be living in this new house. Why don't we move in here permanently? JJ, what do you think? Mikey, I'm very much on board with this. But first, we have to go down to the kitchen and have breakfast. That's a great idea. I'm starving. What shall we eat? Oh, I think there's some leftover from yesterday. Bon appétit, Mikey. Oh, this is so good. I could sit here like this all day with a plate of delicious food. How about you? Well, I'd rather go for a walk. Attention, big news. Stay tuned. Tonight in a neighboring village, a group of scientists were planning to make a scientific breakthrough in animal husbandry. They wanted to make a mutant pig that would be big and useful in the farm, but instead they managed to create a killer pig that slaughters everyone like a slaughterhouse. So I have an admonition to you. Stay in your homes as much as possible, especially those who have big and expensive houses. It is reported that this pig is partial to wealth. Mikey, we need to protect ourselves and the house. I agree, JJ. What do you suggest we do? Let's build a laser perimeter around the house, as well as a loophole with arrows. That sounds very logical. Come on, can you tell me about the pig so far? Because I don't quite understand how the scientists got the pig. Uh, no problem, Mikey. Pigs are stout, barrel-shaped mammals that are known for their big appetites. Some kinds of pigs are wild, while others are domestic, raised by humans. Farmers raise domestic pigs for their meat, which is called pork, and their fat, which is called lard. The skin of pigs is made into leather. Their stiff hair is used for brush bristles. Several different names are used to describe pigs. Both wild and domestic pigs are also called swine. Domestic pigs that weigh more than 120 pounds, 50 kilograms, are called hogs. That term can also be used to describe wild or domestic pigs in general. Before giving birth, a female pig is called a gilt. After her first litter, she is called a sow. Whoa! I didn't know they grew so big. Domestic pigs live on every continent except Antarctica. Several types of wild pig are found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. They live in forests and grasslands. China has the world's largest population of domestic pigs, followed by the United States. A pig has a bulky body with short legs. It has thick skin covered with a coat of stiff hairs. Pigs range in length from about 2 to 7 feet, 0.6 to 2.1 meters long. Domestic pigs can weigh as much as 700 pounds, 3 on 20 kilograms. The largest wild pig, called the wild boar, is smaller. A pig's snout ends in a flat, rounded disc. Pigs use their snout to find food in the ground and dig it out. Wild pigs have sharp tusks to dig with, too. They also use their tusks as a weapon to defend themselves. Domestic pigs do not have tusks, but they have tusk, like teeth. What can you say about their behavior? In the wild, female pigs live together peacefully. 
But males fight, so they usually live alone. Wild pigs eat a wide variety of foods, including leaves, roots, fruit, reptiles, and rodents. Domestic pigs eat grains and food waste. A female pig gives birth after a pregnancy of about four months. The average litter includes about 10 or 11 baby pigs, called piglets. Tell me some interesting facts about pigs! Pigs are one of the smartest animals in the world, ranking just after apes and dolphins. They are smarter than the average three-year-old human. They are able to pick up new skills quicker than most other animals. They have complex social lives and like to be around one another. They form close bonds with individuals of their own species and others. Pigs often sleep nose to nose and like to huddle. Pigs like to be in the company of a small group of other pigs. Pigs are very organized and clean. They build both nests for sleeping and separate latrines. Pigs use around 20 different vocal sounds, from loud grunts to oinks and soft squeals, to communicate with one another. Female pigs will sing to their young, piglets. But like male pigs, are also able to scream louder than a jet engine. They can reach volumes of 130 decibels. Many people work with pigs in order to understand their intelligence and ingenuity. Some domesticated pigs have been shown how to make use of creative arts. Take a look at the video below of Pig Caso the Painting Pig to take a look at her abstract art. What is the natural habitat of a pig? Pigs live on every continent except Antarctica. They can adapt to a range of environments, making them among the most successful mammals on Earth. Wild pigs live in grasslands, wetlands, rainforests, savannas, scrublands, and temperate forests, anywhere with access to fresh water where they can forage for food. This is it, Mikey. We got security for the house. Now we can rest. I learned a song on the piano. I'll play it. Mikey, I don't think it's the right time. I see that Piggy is already near our house. Let's go. It's time for us to stand up for our home. Here we go. I was so excited to play you a morning song. I'll play it later. We have to beat this pig. Let's go downstairs. Oh, no, he's almost upon us. We need to arm ourselves. Mikey, I made an automatic machine that will armor you and give you weapons. Wow, you're so smart and thoughtful. That's great. Armor's on us. All that's left is to defeat that piggy. Actually, I don't think that's too hard. It was harder to build all this stuff. What do you think, Mikey? Oh, yes, I agree with you. Setting up lasers around the perimeter was very tedious. All right, Mikey, take your positions. You stand over there over the lasers to lure him forward so I can shoot him with the arrows. Okay, JJ, and you'll be on the roof of the house to activate all the mechanisms in time, right? Yeah, Mikey, your job is to lure Piggy as close to the lasers as possible. Roger that. I'll do my best. By the way, I just remembered a question about Piggies. Tell me, why do they always want to mess around in the mud? All pigs use mud to maintain their body temperature as they don't have any sweat glands. They will roll in cool mud to prevent overheating in warm weather. The mud also helps to deter parasites and pests from landing on them. Wow, that's so interesting. How did they come up with that? Have you thought about it? No, I haven't had to think about piggies that long. We have one pig to think about and not forget right now. Yes, JJ. If anything, I'm trying my best to get that hawk's attention. Well done, Mikey. I'll get his attention. We'll be here till morning. I want to get some sleep. Yeah, you did it. Now what do we do? Now, Mikey, just burn it down with a flamethrower. Hurry up. In the meantime, I'll shoot him with arrows. Try not to let him get any closer to the house. Otherwise, it won't work. Oh, I can't get anything to work here. I need it fixed now. Mikey, hang in there. No problem, JJ. I got it. Everything's under control. Okay, I can't do this. Let me just help you with the flamethrower. Come on, we're going to burn it. Man, those scientists. As usual, it's their experiments that cause all the trouble. Who would even think of experimenting on a pig? 
I agree with you, Mike. We should petition them to stop doing that. We won. Shall we go home for pork dinner?